Um, Equinemius uh, St. Brown from Servite, receiver, class of 2015. All right, you play in one of the toughest leagues in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, the Trinity League is known throughout the nation as, you know, modern day, yourself, St. John Bosco now oh, yeah, is coming yeah. up. What games are you looking forward to this year and playing and, and why? I'm um, looking forward to Bishop Gorman, uh, De La Salle, and Modern Day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you as a wide receiver, what do you think, Servite, because you guys are in our top 25. Uh, you guys had a little hiatus last year and last few years of being up there. Um, what is it going to take for you and the rest of your teammates to get back to the state championship like you were a few years ago when you guys played De La Salle? Uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of bonding, you know. Uh, we got not, a lot of new transfers, a lot of new players on our team. It's going to take us to get together, uh, bond as a team, and, you know, listen to coaches and not try to do our own thing. I see videos online of you and you work hard in the off season, you know, work on your physique, your athleticism. What is it exactly that you do in order to get better for the season upcoming? Oh, you know, I do a lot of uh, work outside of survive, you know. Of course, I do what they make me, but once I go home, you know, I catch balls, 300 balls a day and do my things, you know, um, work on drills, work on footwork, you know, get ready for the season. You have a really strong brotherhood at Survive. It seems like even the alumni come back and they're very strong and, and integrated into what you guys do at Survive. What do you like most about playing at Survive? Uh, the brotherhood, definitely, you know. Uh, we're, all, we're like a family out there. You know? uh, on the field, we have our backs. It's like soldiers in the, in the war, you know. So whenever I'm down, you know, I can count on my teammates to pick me back up. Your coach is an alumni of Servite. Mm. He's a friar. What is it that he tries to instill in you besides being a good athlete, but morally and ethically? Uh, you know, he wants me to be a great man off the field, you know, do a lot of community service, you know, help the people in need and give back. Your dad was a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. Mr. World, what is it? What's the name of it? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mr. Universe. Mr. Universe. Yeah. Okay, what does he do on the training side for you? Does he ever help you out in, oh, yeah. in getting it? Oh yeah, you know, he's been a great role model for me, you know. Uh, he takes me to the gym almost like four days a week, and we work out, you know, I go through his lift, it's really difficult, and, and you know, he takes me to a lot of private uh, receiver trainers, and, you know, he copies what they do, and we go to the park and repeat it. Who are we going to have to look out for as well, beside yourself on Servite this year? Uh, you got to look out for Travis Waller, of course, Maurice Davison, Clayton Johnson, uh, Jack Savage, uh, Austin Thomas. Yeah. Those are the guys right there. Yeah. They're all going to be more, able to. Many more. <laughs> many yeah. more. Yeah. All right, anything else that you'd like to say about Servite or anybody that out there that uh, might be looking out after you this whole season? Uh, no. 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 All right, well, thank you very much.